I got it. There it is. It's P. Sherman, 42, Wallaby Way, Sydney. Oh my gosh, I can't. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. What the fuck? Missing? They ain't never seen Finding Nemo. What the fuck is going on? This is traumatic. Lucky I know how to say a joke. You. What the fuck? Just keep swimming. I know that some of you were probably watching that video wondering what in the heck am I watching right now. But the guy in that video is a man by the name of Sergio Brown. And it just so happens that Sergio Brown is a former NFL football player. I believe he played for the New England Patriots, the Indianapolis Colts, the Jacksonville Jaguars, and the Buffalo Bills, if I'm not mistaken. But that's not the crazy part. The crazy part is Sergio Brown and his mother were both reported missing a few days ago. Now, Sergio's mother was found. Unfortunately, though, she was found deceased. And the cause of death has been ruled as a homicide. Now, Sergio Brown is still missing, but he's posting weird videos on his Instagram, like the one that we watched at the beginning of this video. Now, law enforcement is still looking for this guy. He's still labeled as missing. And it's important to note that at the time of this recording, law enforcement has not labeled him as a suspect or even a person of interest. However, I hate to say it, but if we're, if we're being brutally honest here, it kind of looks like this guy may have offed his mom. Now, we don't know that for sure, but we do know that he's obviously having a mental health episode somewhere. We don't know exactly where he's at. You know, we don't officially know where he's at. There's a lot of information floating out. There's a lot of information um, floating around everywhere right now, okay? I'm trying not to report stuff that's not official now. The general thought, you know, the general opinion online right now is that this guy is somewhere in Mexico, possibly Mexico City, because he had Mexico City um, posted on one of his social media posts. However, we don't know exactly where this guy is. But I want to go ahead and hop into this article real quick so we can all get a better understanding of what's happening here. And then, of course, I'm going to have more thoughts as well. Former Indianapolis Colts player Sergio Brown is missing after his mother was found dead after being assaulted near her Illinois home over the weekend, officials said. On Monday, Maywood Police Department Deputy Chief Yancey Theodore confirmed that the police were investigating the death of Myrtle Brown, age 73. According to police, the woman was found dead in a creek near her home in Maywood, a village in suburban, in suburban Chicago west of downtown. Theodore would not say whether Brown or Sergio Brown is a person of interest or suspect in connection to his mother's death. Police said on Saturday the department was informed by family members they could not locate or make contact with the woman or her son. Officers initiated a missing person report and began making attempts to locate the pair. Upon conducting a second and wider search of the area, Myrtle Brown was discovered unresponsive near a creek to the rear of her residence, police wrote in a press release. Her body was later transported to the Cook County Medical Examiner, Examiner's Office. Cook County Medical Examiner's Office spokesperson Natalia Deraviani told USA Today the victim was pronounced dead on Saturday. An autopsy found that she died from multiple injuries related to assault and her manner of death was a homicide. Police later released a photo of Sergio Brown in hopes of locating him. As of Monday morning, Theodore said the former NFL player had not yet been located. Myrtle, 
She was an outstanding woman, and I'm hoping she's in the right place, and she's with God, says Carlos Cortez, Myrtle Brown's next-door neighbor. I never would have expected this in a million years. Sergio Brown played for the Colts in 2012 through 2014, as well as three other NFL teams. He was a star defensive back at Notre Dame before he signed with the New England Patriots as an undrafted free agent in 2010. Brown played seven seasons in the NFL with the Patriots, the Colts, the Jaguars, and the Bills, with whom he played his final season in 2016. Anyone with information regarding Brown's whereabouts is asked to contact Maywood Police or their local law enforcement agency. Well, I think we all have information about Sergio Brown because he is on Instagram acting a complete fool, posting weird videos that do not make sense. I don't know exactly what's wrong with this guy, but in, in my opinion, and I, I don't think that this will be in an, um, uh, an unpopular opinion, it appears that he's going through a mental health episode. You know, he played football, so maybe it's something related to CTE. Something, you know, something of that nature. But it's looking like Sergio may have done this. You know, some maybe will say that that's not appropriate for me to say at this time. But, you know, I try to be honest and there's no reason to really tip down or to tiptoe around the truth when it comes to this situation. My concern is there seems to be somewhat of a drag in bringing this guy in. I feel as if he's posting if he's posting stuff on social media, he shouldn't be that hard to pinpoint because they have their ways. You know what I mean? My concern is if he is capable of doing something like this to his own mother, which we don't know if he did or not, but if he was capable and it's kind of looking like he may be capable of something like that. That's really dangerous because if you're capable of doing something like that to your own mother, Lord knows what he's capable of doing to something to someone else. Most of the videos that I have seen him upload so far, I, I mean, you don't really get a great look at his surroundings, but he seems to be in social settings, like around music. Like I would say maybe he's at like a tiki bar or... or are, are somewhere chilling around people, and that kind of scares me. Um, as of right now, though, I know there is a lot of information swirling out there. There's more information that I'm going to get to. I'm going to break it down in multiple videos because I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, and I know that some of you all probably don't even know about this story. I've been looking at it for the last couple of days, watching the situation play out a little bit. I didn't want to speak too soon because, you know, you never know with these situations. But at this point, I mean, it's not looking great on Sergio's behalf. And we'll get into more details as to why I believe that in the next video. But for right now, let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all soon in the next video.